A new residential recovery facility opens in Belpre this Friday. Our Chase Campbell has the details. Vincent, Ohio-based Angels Harbor opens its Belpre branch this Friday. Workers are putting the final touches on the facility this week. The 32-bed women's facility will offer large living space and a faith-based residential recovery program. The Belpre facility is twice the size of the original Angels Harbor in Vincent. Founder and CEO Tim Kraft says he and the staff are ready to take on more patients. We try to, uh, again, even for our staff to build that support system to where they can come and talk to us and, you know, um, be open when, when they're struggling. We want an open door policy. We also want a culture where um, our staff don't work out of fear, they work out of passion. Public concerns about recovery facilities in the area spurred the Belpre City Council to consider a moratorium on the establishment of addiction centers and sober living homes earlier this year. Kraft says he doesn't want the facility to contribute to the stigma surrounding people who struggle with addiction and rehab facilities. Our policy is uh, we don't let people just walk down the street. If they decide to leave, we'll take them and help them get either back home or at least, you know, to the bus station. Um, we don't just allow them to become a homeless person. We've not had that happen, not with one person so far. Kraft says he wants his facility and its clients to help the public develop a more positive perspective on recovery. That standard of what people think of when they think of treatment, we want them to know it's, it's not a scary thing. Um, these girls are not hardened criminals, you know, and um, they're, they're just people who's going through a struggle. And once they get on the other side of it, many of them now are working in this community. Kraft says their facility in Vincent has a 76% sobriety rate for 45 graduates so far. Kraft says part of their success comes down to the fact they offer transitional support to help people find jobs and get their lives together after they graduate the residential program. Anne Belpre, Ohio, Chase Campbell, WTAP News.